Good evening to everyone in London. Um, thank you to GQ for hosting tonight's awards ceremony and to Johnny for the kind introduction. It's not often that one gets a chance to wear a tuxedo at 3 p.m., uh, unless, of course, it's from the night before, but, well, here we are. I'm deeply honoured to be introducing our final awardees, who you'll immediately recognise for their landmark contribution to the fight against COVID-19. Our heroes of this evening are Professor Sarah Gilbert, Dr. Catherine Green, and the entire team of dedicated Oxford scientists. Their breakthrough research on the Oxford vaccine has brought the world one of the greatest tools for achieving vaccine equity. They also approached their mission with a humanitarian urgency. In April of last year, the Oxford team packed up a shipment of research cultures and stealthily sent it to India, an early example of the biotech collaboration we need to bring this global crisis to an end. Until every community can access the vaccine and until every community is connected to trustworthy information about the vaccine, then we are all at risk. That's a common refrain that my wife and I have heard in convenings with vaccine experts, heads of industry, community advocates, and global leaders. As people sit in the room with you tonight, more than a third of the global population has received at least one dose of the vaccine. That's more than five billion shots given around the world so far. And it sounds like a major accomplishment, and in many ways it is. But there is a huge disparity between who can and cannot access the vaccine. Less than 2% of people in the developing world have received a single dose at this point. And many of the healthcare workers are still not vaccinated. We cannot move forward together unless we address this imbalance as one. At the same time, families around the world are being overwhelmed by mass scale misinformation across news media and social media where those who peddle in lies and fear are creating vaccine hesitancy, which in turn is dividing communities and eroding trust. This is a system we need to break if we are to overcome COVID-19 and the risk of new variants. The Oxford team have done their part. They are heroes of the highest order who gave us an instrument to fight this disease. They are our nation's pride, and we are deeply indebted to their service. For the rest of us, including global governments, pharmaceutical leaders, and heads of business, we have to keep doing our part. That must include sharing vaccine science and supporting and empowering developing countries with more flexibility. Where you're born should not affect your ability to survive, when the drugs and know-how exist to keep you alive and well. Thank you again to Professor Gilbert and Dr. Green, who The Guardian called two ordinary people who managed to pull off an extraordinary feat while dealing with the everyday stresses that come with being full-time mums and breadwinners in a notoriously insecure and poorly paid field. But tonight, we're not honoring two ordinary people. These are two exceptional people with a remarkable team who are a bulwark of humanity. Please welcome to the stage, Dame Sarah Gilbert, Catherine Green, Emma Bolam, Ian Poulton, Laura Walker, Mwila Kasanyinga, Wendy Crocker, Lisa Stockdale, Jamie Fowler, and Saeed Adlou. <laughs> 